Hey guys, it's Dane, the founder of Plandex. Plandex is an open source AI coding agent designed especially for large real world projects. Its goal is to push the boundaries on the level of task complexity that AI code gen can handle. This is just a quick video to show you a new feature in Plandex that allows you to automatically debug browser apps. It doesn't require setup or configuration. When it makes sense to do so, Plandex opens a browser, monitors for errors, and redirects the console logs to the terminal so they can be used for debugging. Now I'm going to show you. We're going to make a little to-do app and we're going to tell the AI to cause a JavaScript error on purpose. And in real time, this video would take about two minutes, but we don't really need to sit through the whole thing to see how this feature works. So I'm just going to fast forward through a lot of it. So it's making the plan now, as you can see, and then it starts on implementation. So let's just fast forward through all that. And now we've got some options after our plan has run. And the changes are all in a sandbox, not in your project yet. So you could take a look at the diffs here. You could reject any files that are wrong. And you can also do what I'm about to do, which is apply the plan by pressing A. And since we have pending commands to run, Plandex will show us the apply script and ask if we want to run it. And of course, it's a good idea to take a look. Looks good to me, so I'll run it. And then you can see that we quickly run into the JavaScript error. That kills the process, and then we get some options on how to deal with the error. So one option we have is to just abort and roll back all the changes. You can also apply the changes anyway. You can send the logs to Plandex for debugging, which is what I'm about to do. You can run a single debug cycle and then execute the commands again and so on one step at a time for as long as you need to. Or you can switch into full auto mode, which is something that should be used with care, but can, that can also be quite a powerful way to get over hurdles quickly, especially when it comes to things like installing dependencies or fixing compiler errors or also test-driven development. Anything where you have a kind of a tight feedback loop and a lot of debug cycles are needed to solve a problem is potentially a good candidate for full auto mode. And it's not necessarily going to solve everything for you, but it is a tool that can save you many hours if used carefully. So that was a bit of a tangent on full auto mode, but since we're just concerned with browser debugging really for now, let's just take the next step and select debug once. Okay, and we're going to fast forward through Plandex fixing its own error. And what do you know? The to-do list works. So we did create an error with the vibe coding of our to-do app, but it was on purpose and then we fixed it automatically. So you can just check out the latest release of Plandex if you wanna try this feature. Just go to plandex.ai to get started. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.